How's it going guys? This is Najam. Welcome back to another video. So a while back I made a video on my configuration of Waybar and Hyperland and we, I did get a couple of comments asking me for the config files and um, I didn't have GitHub back then but I've set that up and I'm going to give you guys my Waybar configuration uh, because I have changed it quite a bit and I wanted to make this video uh, to show you the differences and I'll leave a link in the description to the github so you can go ahead and download it it comes with the config as well as the style sheet um, but i wanted to show you it it's right at the side over here i've changed it quite a bit and i've gone with this sort of transparent look and i've also moved it to the side onto the right side because i found it, it just makes it a lot more squarish uh, in the workspace and so it just for me is a lot more nicer um, but i've changed my configuration quite a few times over the past few months so I've gone with loads of different configurations and if I go into the Wayback configuration uh, I had one with the floating with shadows which is probably this one I had one that was split uh, like this one and I had one that was just floating in the middle and I've just switched to this side one and um, I wanted to just go my configuration I'll leave a link in the description if you like it go ahead and um, go ahead and copy and make some changes if you want so first off, I do need to mention that it does have some margins. Now this configuration needed minus 15 uh, margin on the left side, which uh, is to compensate for the gaps on Hyperland. And also uh, because we're going vertical rather than horizontal, I've had to group in a lot of modules like this one to get the icons underneath the text. And this was quite a challenge because I never come across this. I like tweaking things, but I don't, I'm not a coder. I don't um, write code and everything. Um, so I did go through uh, a lot of research and I came across this which is just grouping them in you can go ahead and download the config and then just copy it um, but yeah I mean it's just group uh, into the pulse audio and then just group the battery and everything um, if you're going to use this on a desktop you might want to just remove the battery icon as well as the brightness because they do leave gaps um, so on my desktop I will remove them and uh, it's working just fine you don't need to remove it from here just go ahead and remove this one um, uh, one of these over here and you can see I've grouped all the bits together the time um, I've got three clocks going on um, because I've changed it I've got the day and then I've got the month uh, in letters and then the year and as well as the time I've got the hours minutes and also the seconds and down here this is the tray icons and you can see that it actually has the a menu the tooltip menu in front of the hyperland windows which is what i did not have on the previous um, configuration if you go through the video you can see the tooltips i do mention in this video that i am not able to get them um, behind uh, in front of windows i managed to fix that and it was a very simple fix which is a bit annoying and that is to just code uh, own comment this out which is just weird i've also tried to make multiple uh, docs so on uh, multiple way bars on one config so we'd have one on this side and then one on this side um, well I couldn't get it to work so I've just left it for now I don't think I'll ever want to do it because it just looks weird um, but yeah uh, if you guys do like it it's very nice I do like the configuration what I also want to mention is that if you want uh, I can if you go on the style sheet uh, you can actually you not notice that yeah I, I have uh, the team of the text color and everything now i've re i've removed this uh, i've left it in there uh, in case i want to put it back in on the future uh, base color as well as the text color and this actually takes the properties from the gtk theme so the background if you have a background on the way bar it will be the background color of your theme um, and also the text color will be the text color from your theme um, but i've removed it because of a lot of wallpapers on the background they don't work really well with different themes and everything so it, and the contrast is quite uh, reduced so i don't like that so i've just made it black and white and it's very very contrasting no matter what wallpaper you use um, it will uh, show up on the side and it does have t shadows as you can see uh, even the oh that's gonna bug oh, that's gonna be annoying oh, God very nice it's very nice it's simplistic just on the side it looks it, it works really well with the transparent look if you do a different if you get a different wallpaper it works with the wallpaper 
Uh, some wallpapers may be, it becomes a little bit harder to see, but for the most part, I think because I've added the shadows on the text and everything, it'll be really easy to see. So if you guys have any questions, ask me in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in another video.